Today, we're exploring the next big leap in virtual reality, MetaQuest 4. From its rumored delay to groundbreaking new features, software enhancements, and powerful integrations, this is everything you need to know about the future of Meta's VR ecosystem. MetaQuest 4 might not launch in 2025. Here's why historically, Meta has stuck to a pretty regular release cycle, launching a new Quest headset every year or two. However, Trusted sources and internal leaks now suggest that the MetaQuest 4 might skip 2025 entirely and instead debut in 2026. Why? Meta appears to be recalibrating its strategy. Rather than pushing incremental updates every year, they're taking more time to deliver meaningful innovation that truly moves the needle in virtual and mixed reality. This shift indicates Meta is aiming for a generational leap, not just an upgrade. MetaQuest Pro 2 or a surprise device? Instead of the Quest 4, Meta could release another premium headset, possibly a Meta Quest Pro 2. This would be a follow-up to the original Quest Pro, which, while powerful, didn't quite hit the mark in sales due to its high price and limited appeal outside of enterprise use. With this new device, Meta may try to bridge the gap between affordability and high-end features, offering a more powerful alternative to the Quest 3 for creators, gamers, and developers alike. It could also serve as a testing ground for the tech that eventually lands. In the MetaQuest 4, real-time 3D scene meshing, the future of spatial awareness meta is testing an automatic 3D scene mesh feature for Horizon OS that will be a total game changer. Currently, if you scan your room and then move furniture, your VR environment doesn't adapt. But with this next-gen spatial mapping, the Quest headset will dynamically remap your surroundings in real time. This has massive implications for mixed reality, MR, enhanced gaming with real-time object detection, smarter pass-through experiences, more. Accurate virtual boundaries, immersive home or work interactions. This feature may be a big highlight of the Quest 4, but there's a chance we'll see it roll out in future updates for Meta Quest 3 as well. Cloud gaming gets supercharged. NVIDIA GeForce Now on Quest First came Xbox Cloud Gaming, now Meta is pushing forward by integrating NVIDIA GeForce Now, bringing the world of PC gaming to standalone VR. What this means is massive access games from Steam, Epic Games Store, Ubisoft Connect Play titles like Cyberpunk 2077, Red Dead Redemption, 2, Control, and more. No need for a gaming PC high fidelity streaming from the cloud. This elevates the MetaQuest platform beyond casual VR titles, making it a serious gaming device, especially for people who don't want to invest in expensive eye. Desktop rigs, Meta Ray-Ban smart glasses, AR for everyone. While we wait for the next Quest headset, Meta is pushing boundaries with its Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses. These glasses blend fashion and functionality with built-in cameras and audio Meta AI integration language translation hands-free social media content creation, turn-by-turn -turn navigation meta. Plans to feature these glasses heavily in upcoming campaigns, including during the Super Bowl, with possible appearances from stars like Chris Hemsworth and Chris Pratt. These AR glasses show that meta is not just about VR anymore. They're crafting an ecosystem where smart wearables, spatial computing, and AI coexist. More than marketing, Meta's big giveaways and engagement tactics Meta has launched several community-focused campaigns. Giving away Ray-Ban smart glasses, Quest 3 headsets, and Bobo VR accessories. These aren't just marketing tactics, they're a strategic move to build loyalty and grow Meta's XR user base. Expect to see more creator partnerships, early access programs beta. Feature testing for engaged users' community feedback loops driving development by fostering a committed user base now, Meta is laying the foundation for its long-term XR dominance. Home theater mode, native VR cinema experience. A long-awaited feature is finally coming to MetaQuest, a built-in home theater mode in Horizon OS, before users had to rely on third-party apps like Big Screen or Skybox to watch content. Now, Meta is developing its own immersive theater experience, allowing users to watch 2D and 3D content in a virtual cinema use built-in media controls and custom environments, stream Netflix, Disney+, YouTube, and more, invite friends into shared virtual viewing rooms. This feature puts Meta's headset directly up against the Apple Vision Pro, 
which Apple has marketed as a personal theater device. And speaking of Apple, Meta versus Apple Vision Pro, a battle of approaches, Apple's 3499 Vision Pro is undoubtedly a powerful device with a cutting edge micro OLED display and incredible pass through quality. Even Mark Zuckerberg has admitted that the display quality is better than what Meta currently offers. But here's the difference. Apple is focused on luxury and professionals. Meta is focused on mass adoption, while Vision Pro aims to wow early adopters with cinematic visuals and seamless productivity. MetaQuest 4 will aim to bring powerful spatial computing to the average consumer, likely at a fraction of the cost. It's a race between innovation and accessibility, and Meta's strategy might prove more sustainable in the long run. What we expect from MetaQuest 4 Though the release is likely in 2026, rumors and leaks already give us a glimpse at potential features of the MetaQuest 4. Higher resolution and visual fidelity upgraded lenses and displays for sharper visuals. Possibly, rivaling Apple Vision Pro's clarity more realistic environments and immersive graphics, advanced eye and face tracking, for more natural social interactions, dynamic foveated rendering to boost performance-enhanced avatar realism in Horizon Worlds. Better performance with Snapdragon XR3, a new chipset designed specifically for next-gen VR faster load times, better multitasking, smoother gameplay, and higher frame rates, battery life and comfort, boost lighter form, factor improved heat management, extended battery life for long gaming, sessions, full color pass-through and room, awareness advanced mixed reality with clearer real-world visuals, improved object tracking and spatial mapping, better for work, play, and social interaction, if Meta delivers on even half of these, the Quest 4 will be a major leap forward in XR technology. Meta's XR ecosystem is Expanding Meta is no longer just a VR company. They're building a full spatial computing ecosystem with interconnected hardware, software, and services. This includes Horizon Worlds for social VR and creator experiences, Horizon Workrooms for remote collaboration AI integration into all devices, even glasses. Cloud services powering content and interaction tools for developers to create AR and VR. Apps. This full-stack strategy will allow Meta to control the experience end-to-end, -end, similar to what Apple does in the smartphone world. Should you wait for the Quest 4? Let's answer the million-dollar question. Should you buy the Meta Quest? 3 now? or wait for the MetaQuest 4. Buy now. If you want the best standalone VR headset currently available, you're interested in mixed reality today. You don't want to wait until 2026, wait. If you want top tier specs and next gen graphics, you're already invested in Quest 2 or Quest 8, 3 and can hold off. You're excited by rumors of the Pro 2 or a radically different design. In short, the Quest 3 is still an excellent device but the Quest 4 could represent a true generational shift. Final thoughts. Meta's XR journey is just beginning. While the Meta Quest 4 might not arrive in 2025, everything Meta is doing right now, from Ray-Ban smart glasses and cloud gaming to scene meshing, new OS features and ecosystem expansion, points to a very ambitious vision. Meta isn't chasing yearly upgrades anymore. They're trying to redefine what XR means. And when the Quest 4 finally arrives, it could be the headset that brings virtual reality, augmented reality, and AI together in a way we've never seen before.